bring it out to North Jersey tomorrow. But you can never underestimate the power It's the third round of the Guinness Women's Six Nations, and whilst the last match ended in defeat, Wales are hoping to build on some of the many positives from the performance against England. Just want to make one comment before we start. Um, feedback, start thinking about our game. I just want to say one thing, and this is, this is coming from my heart, right? We are a bloody good team. We are a very, very, very good team. Do not lose sight of that. We asked for effort counts twice, okay? We asked for that, and this clip shows her in abundance, okay? First kick off of the game. Beth, absolutely outstanding. The cause and effect from that is, is Mo Hunt. Her kick, instead of going like that, goes like that, okay? And look, at the, look what it gives us. Jenny catches this ball around the 10 and we are in opposition half playing all because of Beth's effort effort comes twice so fantastic okay today is about um, taking on board all the information and the learnings from the England match okay some stuff is on the board there we send stuff up for you really start to digest it reflect on it later today or get ready for Thursday as well with the learnings because we've got to keep moving forward we come off a follow week where we haven't had a match but we had some real good training in last week uh, in our preparation for Ireland. So uh, excitement and another opportunity to go out there and, and um, do what we can and do the best for the shirt. The, the break is always good to press reset, um, to patch up some bruised bodies after an unbelievable shift against England. Um, but also put some hard work in with some players that possibly need some hard work, have not much game time. Professional rugby is a game of fine margins and the smallest bit of data may prove the difference. Every morning players use the Vodafone Player Connect app to record information on everything from menstrual cycles to ankle stiffness, all in the hopes of finding a competitive edge. I'm just doing my monitoring, um, so it gives information to coaches uh, and support staff. Um, so that could be like, how much sleep I've had, soreness, um, if I'm feeling ill, which I'm not, I'm feeling good. Monday morning, so you can't get home. Monday, Wendy. How about this one? That one. Ankle stiffness. Yeah, ankle stiffness. Ankle good. stiffness. But it's also like more for you as a player if you come in, you can recognise that. Yeah. We can recognise it. There's actually a call setting at the minute which is a boost. So like if you're feeling really good, you click the boost and then S and C's probably in the gym you'll do more reps. It's three games back to back. It's uh, it's a Ch tough end of the of the championship where it's, Im it's important we have as many fit bodies as possible to maintain our training standards as well as having clarity in our game. As a group we've grown definitely as a team, we've ex uh, managed to cap some new players to give us more depth, looking at that bigger picture and hopefully the World Cup next year. A bit of frustration as well potentially and maybe not being as clinical as we wanted to be. Uh, we've created enough chances in the first two games just having that clinical edge when we do have them we have to take them especially against the better teams as match day approaches it's time for the coaches to announce the team that will travel to cork to face ireland okay team uh third game up good opportunity for us okay so gwenny cp cis rb g butch alcal beth kira hickey coxie karen hannah jazz jenny Molly, Abby, Donna, Natalia, Gwenan, congratulations on the opportunity. Sean, Kaylee, and Courtney, okay? And we're going to bring 28 players because there's a lot of close calls, okay? Real close calls now coming with, with certain positions, which is great, is what we want to be as a, school, as a squad. Um, but also give you that critical feedback to what can make the difference and maybe you getting into this team. <laughs> Yeah. 
A dream come true for Gwen Ann Hopkins as she set to win her first cap off the bench and fulfill a dream that was inspired by her mother. My family is a massive rugby family anyway, but um, especially my mum, so she played for the deaf team, the Welsh deaf team, and she captained against England. Um, so it's really cool, as eight as well, so it's really cool um, to be kind of hopefully playing it in, um, like she did. This is my mum's first cap. Um, that's the ceremony she got. This was a few weeks ago, but um, she had her first cap just before lockdown, I believe. So that was um, the game. They played away in England and they won, which is good, especially against England. That's them holding up the trophy um, after beating them. Um, and that's an action shot of her <laughs> with a scrum cap. So this is mum losing out um, the Welsh team against the English deaf team and that, that's her first cap as well. So that's a really cool picture. I remember watching this. It's cool. Very jealous that she got to do it before me, but um, I'm just so excited and, you know, um, just the pictures here just remind me so much of great memories of watching the family and like, you know, me getting my first cap is not just for me, it's for my family. So finally being able to play on Saturday will just be amazing. This is a massive game for us. Sill Island are a, are a quality team, especially at home. So this is something that we've got to get emotionally uh, in the right place. Preparations nearly complete. It's time to head to Cork. Travelling away has always been a big part of international rugby. And to be at your best, a strong roommate bond is essential. Hello, welcome Hello. to our crib. This is Big D. This is CP. <laughs> Uh, you came back in and I've just, I've just got called in, didn't I? And then, um... We went to England, we went to play England in the 20s in a trial, like a yeah, warm-up game thing. Yeah. And, yeah, we were parents at roomies and, yeah. We led on the bed and I was like, so, what's your name? Where'd you come from? <laughs> and then we just, that was it, wasn't it? We were stuck together. Yeah. Like, you're like one of the first people I've ever like opened up to like about everything. Yeah, um, I think the trust was just there straight away, wasn't it? Yeah, it was trust, wasn't it? Like we had a deep conversation, and um, and then that was it, wasn't it? Our morning routine is the alarm goes off, you wake yeah. me up because she's like I just snooze it, uh, and then I'll put the kettle on, make your coffee in bed, yeah. sit in bed, have a little scroll. If it's game day, we have a bit of a music, you know, pump yeah. around. I do know our weaknesses, so when we play against each other. <laughs> and I know yours. It's good to have a roommate that you can, like I said, trust and get on with. And yeah. um, it just makes things better. It makes us feel comfortable and make, at home. Yeah. Home. home That's yeah. what it is. And like you make, like we made so many memories now just being roomies. Like, yeah, we're literally um, a friend forever now. Yeah. I don't think there's anything bad about being your roomie. We are opposite see, so I will admit I'm probably the messier one. Yeah, and I'm clean. She's clean. So, like so I go, I, actually, that's a flaw. I clean after her. I li today I had to pick up a cover that was on the floor and I thought, <laughs> but whatever she is, I am. If, if, if she's, you know, if we book in for physio, like even Joe, our physio knows now, book you in, book me in next yeah. to her. Um, Buy yeah. absolutely buy one get one free. Yeah, true. And we just, yeah, we just connected, and that was it. Now I'm stuck with her. When you get your jersey, please take five, ten seconds. Just think what that jersey means to you, and what are you going to put in it tomorrow? The people that have helped you get to this stage, every time you get that chance to wear it, bring it out in that jersey tomorrow. Okay. And then a new cap. Gwen on, can we have a there? Sarah Hopkins. <laughs> Match day, and Wales know they will need to be at their best as they face a reinvigorated Irish team and a near sellout crowd.
person next to you, you do it for your family, and you do it for your friends. We start fast, we're kicking off, we're going to go W plus, big chase, we put them under pressure. Let's go. Wales, for their part, restored uh, some measure of positivity in their defeat to England at Bristol a couple of weeks ago, undoing at least some of the pain their opening weekend loss to the Scots will have caused them, particularly Owen Cunningham, will have been pleased with the manner in which Wales defended throughout against England in Bristol. Chance maybe for Wafer, she's got Parsons with her, Wafer might do it, oh, oh she has! Oh, there was no stopping Eva Wafer from that close! Fall under the left arm of Neve Jones. Jones is edging closer. Just need to get going forward again, they certainly are now. Neve Jones is almost there, she's down. And she has the try. Ireland are demolishing Wales in this first half an hour. And they put themselves in a wonderful position to end a run of seven straight defeats in the Guinness Women's Six Nations Championship. Half time at Virgin Media Park. It's Ireland 21, Wales nil. No, I'm hurt, I'm angry, I'm hurting. I've got to express that to you because you're representing your country here. Yeah? Three tries down in the first half, haven't fired a shot. We've got to see a response this second half. We can take accountability. We can talk about all the technical crap we want to talk about. They are hungry than us. I want to see who are the test animals in this room now and who wants this battle. We die free. Come in! Back for George. Oh, blocked down brilliantly. Great work from Corrigan, and she might finish it off herself. Katie Corrigan for Ireland. And Ireland have the bonus point in the bank. Bevan Parsons. It's good defending again from Wales. Hannah Jones involved, as was Jasmine Joyce, and they've won the penalty. And as they did against England, with the game gone in terms of the contest and the result, Wales continue to tackle, they continue to scrap, and it does say a lot for their character in really difficult circumstances. Knock on advantage is over. Little ball flip back inside brilliantly by Kayleigh Powell, and an opportunity for Wales finally to score. Karis Cox just about put down. Stepping back inside is Gwen Hopkins. The referee hasn't made a decision as yet. Okay, Coxie. Yes, mate. Yep. I have a decision for you. Yeah, go for it. The ball is grounded on the line, so you yep. can reverse your own field decision okay. and award the try. And she gets underneath after that action. Correct. The ball is grounded. So the try is yeah, going to be awarded here. Lucky. Wales are up and running. It is a try. It is a try. So Gwen Hopkins on her debut has got her first international try. Wait, wait. Out it goes from Scuffle McCabe, and there's the full time whistle. Ireland back to winning ways in the Guinness Six Nations Championship. A first win under the new head coach, Scott Beeman. And for Wales, continued disappointment. Their championship goes from bad to worse.
full time and a result that will hurt for a while. But despite the frustrations, there's still a moment to cherish as Gwenan Hopkins celebrates a first cap and a try. But the team know there's plenty of work to be done with a visit from France just around the corner.